Bruce Willis has been acting since 1980 with small roles in big shows like Miami Vice, but it wasn't until he got his big break in Die Hard eight years later before he became a household name. While he's starred in some of the highest grossing movies of all time, he's also been in some pretty bad ones and some underrated ones too. So today I'm going to be covering all those Bruce Willis movies that, in my opinion, deserved a lot more credit and attention from critics and audiences alike. The Last Boy Scout, the movie that reinvigorated the action body genre directed by Tony Scott, where Bruce is a down and out cynical detective who teams up with an ex quarterback Damian Waynes in order to try and solve a murder mystery involving a pro football team and a politician. Written by Shane Black, it's full of the snappiest one liners, and the rapport between the two protagonists is first rate. While The Last Boy Scout is not a piece of art, it is, however, among the best a popcorn flick can offer. Apart from Die Hard's John McClane, super dry and sarcastic Detective Hallenbach is definitely my favourite Bruce Willis character. The action sci fi thriller surrogates is set in a futuristic world where humans live in isolation and interact through surrogate robots. Bruce plays a cop who was forced to leave his home for the first time in years in order to investigate a murder. This film has a great concept covering what would happen to society if people became extremely dependent on technology to such a degree that they don't go outside. While surrogates lacks that wow factor that would give it a cult status, the action is fairly compelling and the technological premise is well executed. It's still a good movie with some cool ideas but the whole world has pretty much become just like The Sims Online. Hostage, based on Robert Cray's novel of the same name, is where Bruce plays Jeff Talley, a failed police negotiator turned small-time cop, who must save the lives of a family held hostage, which draws him into a much more dangerous situation. Jeff is your typical cliché Bruce Willis character, where he plays it like he should for an action-packed thriller, a lonesome man having trouble with his family who blames himself for a mistake he made in the past. Hostage is an enjoyable film, while it doesn't quite live up to its full potential, it serves well as an engaging film with a few interesting twists along the way. Robert Zemeckis' comedy horror, Death Becomes Her Set 14 years after Helen's fiancé Ernest is stolen from her by her best friend Madeline, Helen, played by Goldie Horn, with her now alcoholic and worn-out Bruce Willis, planned to kill Madeline, played by Meryl Streep. However, due to Madeline having taken an elixir that gives her eternal life, killing her might not be the best option. Bruce Willis is brilliant as Ernest, the miserable husband caught in this weird love triangle. It's just so surprising and interesting to see him in a role like this where he's not playing the hero. It's a miracle! Death Becomes Set is a witty and sharp film that really does emphasize that beauty and wealth doesn't necessarily equal happiness. Anton Fuqua's action thriller Tears in the Sun, where Bruce is a special ops commander who leads his team into a Nigerian jungle in order to rescue a doctor played by Monica Bellucci, who will only join them if they agree to save 70 refugees. This is probably one of Bruce's best performances to date, where he plays a deeply conflicted soldier with a surprising amount of depth. Tears of the Sun is one of those rare war movies where it focuses the audience's attention towards feeling strongly about saving lives, where it reflects on what mankind is capable of doing to itself just for political reasons. It's a very powerful, authentic film where it really baffles me why it's so underrated. The story is very compelling and entertaining throughout, and it's by far one of the best military movies I've seen. The Whole Nine Yards Jonathan Lynn's black comedy follows a struggling dentist called Oz whose life is turned upside down when a famous gangster, Jimmy the Tulip, moves in next door. The movie kicks off when Oz's wife convinces him to inform a notorious mob boss about Jimmy's whereabouts. This over-the-top comedy with Bruce intimidating Matthew Perry every 10 seconds is really well done. It's filled with gangsters, murderers and occasional silly humour. The plot is quirky enough to be innovative and it's going to give you a couple of hours of laughs. While it may not be the most original movie ever made, The Whole Nine Yards is funny and does exactly what a film like this is supposed to do, entertain you. Hey, if you guys are new here to channel Hyperdrive, then make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified on my next video release. And if you really enjoyed the video, do me a massive favor and drop a like, and I will catch you guys later.